Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode 54 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you some tips on working with the information display in Lightroom. Now, if you've worked with Lightroom a little while now, you've probably noticed that if you're in the library or the develop modules and you have this function enabled, that in the top left hand corner of the image, you'll see three lines of information on two different pages. In this case, I'm on page one and I have the file name, the date the image was captured and the dimensions of the image. And you probably know that if you hit the I key on your keyboard, you'll go to the second page of information. And in this case, we have the file name, the shutter speed, aperture and ISO and the uh, lens and focal length used. If you hit the I key again, you disable it. So it's not displayed at all. Well, did you know that you could go in and you could edit what information is displayed here. And it's very, very easy to do. If you're in the develop module, you need to go up to the view menu and then you go down to view options. If you're in the library module, you have to be in loop view. So this won't work if you're in grid view, you must be in loop view. So you're viewing one image and you could right click right on the image and then you could go down to view options which is the second last choice from the bottom uh, like you did in the develop module you could go up to the view menu at the top and then you could go down to view options but you could see there's a keyboard shortcut command j so you might prefer to just hit command j that's because i have a mac if you have a pc you would hit control j and when you do that this screen comes up and you can see we have loop info one and that's the info that's displayed right now. Then we have loop info two, and that's the display, uh, the info that is displayed on the second screen. And you can see there's drop downs for all three choices in both displays. So we could change this to anything we want. So if we don't like crop dimensions, we could go down and maybe we want um, common photo settings. What's that? Okay, well, that's what's displayed in other places. We got, oh, let's move this. You can see we have the shutter speed, aperture, ISO, and the lens all on one line right there. Um, I don't know, let's just, the copyright. And there's the copyright. So you could change any of these three lines. And if you totally mess them up and you want to get back to where you were, so we're just changing all around, just click Use Defaults. As simple as that, we'll go back to the default. So you could go through and you could change these to anything that might be more helpful for you. Perhaps you don't need to know the date you captured the image and you want to change that to common attributes. It's unflagged, it has a rating of one, it has no label, something like that. Um, whatever, you could just go and change it. Now you could see that what is grayed out here is show briefly when photo changes. As you're changing or going from image to image, this, if you have it disabled, will pop up briefly. And how you could change this is right now this box is saying it's shown in overlay so if we just click that off you could see it's gone and then we could we could toggle between these two which one of these two screens we want to show briefly and then we could just toggle it like that and then we could turn this back on and then we could pop through it and you can see there's other things show message when loading or rendering photos it just says along the bottom of the image I don't know if you've ever noticed loading when it's loading an image or or um, or rendering an image show frame number when displaying a video time I don't work with video in Lightroom but that would show the frame number uh, at the bottom and play HQ video at draft quality again I don't work with video at all but that's what that would do. So that's really it, a really short tip. You could come in here and you could edit any of this information. And just remember, if you really mess these up and you wanna go back to the defaults, just click that button right there and you're back to the defaults. All right, thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.